to the first of our seven jobs, instructional designer. What a wonderful job. Why awesome? If you look at this job, corporate training is growing rapidly year on year. A 15% growth in corporate uh, revenue. Um, and we see that it's become a $130 billion industry worldwide. So that's a huge percentage of revenue coming up into corporate training. The US Department of Labor side, ONET, projects that in the next 10 years, this number of jobs are going to be growing on an average 5 to 8 percent year on year. That's a huge growth. A lot of opportunities coming up in instructional designing. A last statistic that I want to share, which is very, very interesting, is Burson by Deloitte's data. What did they say? What they said was, year on year, we are seeing there is an increasing growth in training. It's not just training is growing, the percentage growth of training spending is also increasing. So that's exponential, right? So it's not just that it's growing 5%. The percentage of growth is also growing. So if you see in 2010, it was just 3%. Uh, 2012, you will see it has gone up to 10%. And last year, it has gone up to 15%. What an amazing growth. If this trend continues, we see that training spending will continue growing. The number of jobs will continue growing year on year. Let's have another poll on this. Quick question for you guys. And uh, who do you think pioneered instructional designing? You have four options. So guys, who's considered the father of instructional designing? I'm seeing the answers coming in. Okay, guys, can the rest of you vote? Yeah, I'm seeing a few more answers coming in. Guys, you have another five seconds to vote. Come on, come on, let's see who gets the right answer for this. I wish I had a chocolate to give you, but I can't give you online. Okay. Consider yourself getting an online chocolate if you get it right, right? Wow, okay, I think nearly everyone has voted, so I'm going to close the poll. And I'm going to share the results. All right. A few of you have said Edgar Dale, a few of you have said John Keller, a few of you have said Kaplan. Uh, the father of instructional designing was the great Edgar Dale. So those of you who got Edgar Dale, give yourself a pat on your back. That was the right and awesome answer. Uh, Edgar Dale was a guy who was with the US Navy. He was in World War II. He was trying to set up the US Naval Training Center to train people in the Navy. Um, he was the guy who actually realized how to build good instructional designing, how to analyze training, how to design training. He went on for a great academic career at the University of Louisiana, the University of Syracuse, and he is the father of instructional designing. So let me hide that and let's go back to our jobs. I'm sure you're more interested in looking at the instructional designer job. So I'm going to look at that now. What are the prerequisites for such a job? Look, if you want to get into instructional designing, my strong recommendation is obviously you need a bachelor's degree. Preferably, you should have some certification in instructional designing or training and development. Zero to four years experience is fine, but ideally you should have some experience in LMD. Um, behavioral traits, you need critical thinking, fluency of ideas, creativity, etc. What will you do as an instructional designer? Typically, an instructional designer conducts needs assessment, applies learning theories, evaluates learning designing, and nowadays, I think because a lot of e-learning is involved in integrating of storyboards, technology options like LMS, LCMSs into your e-learning and having a good storyboard. So these are some of the things that you need to know. If any of you are really interested to take up this as a career, you will be obviously wanting to know what are the salaries like. We did a study on that. Let's look at what are the salaries like in India. A starting salary of around 2 lakhs as an instructional designer. 
But typically, if you have a couple of years of experience in instructional design, your salary rapidly goes up to six lakhs. We, in fact, in our own company, we did an instructional design district survey very recently, and the salaries in Hyderabad for a person with three to four years experience was about five thousand. It's a good salary. Um, it also gives you access to a good career growth. In US, fantastic salaries, forty-one thousand. If you are planning to go to Dubai at any time, seventy-two thousand AD is the kind of salary is there. The good thing, by the way, about instructional designers is you don't need to be from HR by itself. You can be a science graduate, you can be any kind of graduate and get into this. So if any of you are giving career advice to a youngster, great option to look at. But uh, to equip yourself, you need to have a good certification. My recommendation is one of the three certifications. Of course, being from Middle Earth HR, we have our own well-known and well-developed certification for certified instructional designer, CID. Uh, ATD, American Society of Training and Development, is also a great institution and it has an e-learning instructional design certificate. And Languid has a great instructional design certificate. So by the way guys, if any of you have any questions, please keep note of it. I'm not going to 